Welcome, you guys. Welcome to this edition <laughs> of Dating and Relationships with me, Chloe Bellatori. Um, I am a relationship and communication expert. I'm a graduate of Princeton University and Pat Allen's Want Institute. Um, I use tools that I learned from her, androgynous semantic realignment. I also use the tools of transactional analysis as created by Eric Byrne. And I use tools that I've created myself because I've been doing this for over 10 years now. I'm also over 20 years married. So everything that I'm teaching you, in addition to it being backed by psychological and scientific principles, I've also done and I've also vetted um, myself. I can honestly say that this work helped me save my life, my marriage, um, and more. And it continues to sustain my spiritual and psychological growth. So when I saw the power that it had, when I saw the changes that it affected, I and I saw I was good at it, I really felt compelled to spread it. And so that's what I'm doing here. This is my one free event that I do. Um, I work with men. I work with women. I work with couples. I work with teenagers. Um, I also teach this work in smaller groups in module settings. We'll probably get going on those in a little bit. If you want to sign up for that, the link is on my website, Chloe's Consciousness Training .com, and also in the chat right now. Um, and I've also written four books on this work. The most recent is Daddy Issues, and those are all available on Amazon. And that those are linked um, also in the chat and at my website. Okay, so what are we talking about? What's ASR? What's TA? TA? Okay. When we talk about relationships, the most successful relationships are those that are balanced between masculine and feminine energy, also known as yin and yang. Um, we live in a universe organized by duality, right? Um, and all the shades of that duality in between. And that's what's symbolized by the slope in the yin yang symbol. Um, now, it's been scientifically proven that all of us have a feminine side that is more feeling space, that is receptive, that is passive, patient, vulnerable. This is the right side of the brain. Um, this is the center of creativity, of sensuality, sexuality, magic. Um, this is nonlinear thinking, the world of feelings, spirituality. Yin and or feminine energy is in the world to make it fun, but it's not of the world. And then we all of us have a left brain, which is competitive, conquering, controlling. This is the world of ideas. This is world of giving, taking care of. Um, this is most of us are in our left brain when we're at work because it requires linear thinking and problem solving. And there's not a lot of room for feelings at work. Um, but all of us have these two sides. One is not better than the other. There's a great book if you want to explore more about yin and yang. There's a great book called The Yin Yang of Life by Dr. Kim and Dr. Lee. And it literally breaks down that duality um, across everything um, <laughs> on earth, food, colors, um, you name it. And it's, it's, it's a really interesting read. Um, if you want to check that out. Okay, so those of us who are alphas, those of us who are um, have a strong feminine side and a strong masculine side often have trouble in relationships deciding which side to lead with. Um, and this confusion can be exacerbated if you've had any kind of childhood trauma and most people have had childhood trauma either with a small t or a big t and what happens in childhood trauma is that we become precociously related we develop coping strategies um, in order to get along with the people who own the refrigerator 
Um, and then we take those strategies, which we assume are existential truths. We take those strategies into our adult life and specifically into our intimate relationships. And that is often where they get us into trouble and where we end up sabotaging ourselves. So a really big part of this work is seeing your patterns, recognizing those patterns, the ones that don't serve you a lot of times patterns or scripting that we have from childhood doesn't serve us in adulthood, even though those were coping mechanisms um, that got us through. When we grow up, they often cause us to become imbalanced, hence have trouble in relationships, including the relationship with self. Okay. So when we get imbalanced, that means that for women, we are leading with our masculine overachieving side. And for men, we're leading with our feminine, sensitive feeling side. Um, look, it doesn't always fall down gender lines. Some like 15 to 25% of the time, it doesn't. Uh, the important thing is that in the relationship that it's balanced. So if you're a feminine man with a masculine woman, that also works. And I have many clients who fall um, into that category. What, again, what we're looking for is that balance. Okay. So that's basically what I do. Um, now, with this work, it's a little different from therapy in the sense that, yes, you come to me with your questions and your problems, um, but instead of just nodding and listening and and reflecting back to you, which is a enjoyable experience, um, I actually give homework and tools and and there's a rubric to follow so that you actually affect change in your life. That change is not a painless process. Um, there is change, there's pain in changing all the time, even changes for the better. Um, but that's what the difference is between the work that I do and traditional emotive therapy. And what's unique about this work again are the tools, the theories that it's based on, the stuff I've told you already, that's not really new, right? Yin yang philosophy, that's like thousands of years old. Roger Sperry did his experiments on Newt's brains that proved that we, all of us have a right hemisphere and left hemisphere. That was done in the 1980s. But the tools to execute on this work are unique and very powerful and simple, actually. But sometimes it does take a minute to get it. Um, and so that's why I do this group. That's why people keep coming back is to keep hearing um and getting that repetition because that's how we learn. Okay. So now I'm going to open it up to your guys' questions. Um, this is my favorite part. And you can really ask me anything. My specialty is dating and relationships. But since these principles um, apply across, really across all life on earth in general, you could ask about any kind of conflict resolution, communication problems, work problems, problems with family I help people with a lot, um, friendship issues I help people with a lot. Um, so yeah, so raise your hand and um, you can, I'll unmute you or you can put your question in the chat. Um, and I also love to hear your updates. Lee. Hey there. Hi, Lee. How are you? Doing all right. Doing okay. I, I have a question for you here. Okay. I'm on an update. Uh, Good. I last night was out at one of my events and uh, um, it was the first time I'd gone to this particular venue. It was a new place that I like to do karaoke. Oh, cool. A brand new a friend of mine suggested he was going to meet me there, but he, he ended up not being able to make it. And so I was there and it was, uh, it was a really great um, uh, group of people. The, the vibe was very friendly and a lot of good folks, just a nice place, kind of a dive place, but fun. And uh, there was a young lady there I saw. Um, actually, there were, there were a couple uh, the first one was 
had had way too much to drink and I was not interested in her. Uh, but my question is about, is about the second young lady. And I was thinking, okay, I was instantly attracted to this person, but um, I remembered the five flirts and I remembered about the eye contact and smile. And so mm -hmm. <laughs> um, eventually she did make eye contact. Nice. Uh, she never smiled. Okay. In fact, it was like a repulsed. <laughs> she seemed like... <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I guess I'm. my question is, what does that mean? What do you think is going on in a woman's mind when she's, uh, that look of like just absolute, you, I think I've shared in the past, there have been times where I how do you, ask them, how do you feel about going out for a cup of coffee? And they give me this look like, like somebody just stepped on their toe. Right. Well, that's and a little different, right? Because you're is, actually talking to somebody. This well, is somebody's... The, I, the smile was not a smile at all. It was more like a, oh, uh, like, uh oh, like, like she just wasn't, it was just like, she seemed, I don't know what this, it was eye contact. And then this expression of something else. <laughs> okay. Well, What's you know, I mean, about? Did you not approach? I did not approach. Okay. I think that I, was the right thing. Uh, she, uh, I did, while she was singing, I congratulated her from, I was sitting right behind her while she was singing. And congr congr and we were all just, everybody congratulates everybody, but, mm -hmm. you know, she did not engage whatsoever. She was sitting on the other side of the bar and with her friend, a girlfriend, I guess. And, uh, um, yeah. She well, did. some people, you know, I mean, I, I really, I don't think you should take it personally. No. Right. You know, it's some people are in a good headspace. There could be any number of things that are happening. You know, you didn't get your signal. So I'm glad you didn't approach um, because it probably wouldn't have gone well. You know, sometimes you just have a yucky look on your face and it doesn't even really mean anything. She could be any, it could, you know, you could be thinking about something else or, um, what do they call it? Resting bitch face, you know? So <laughs> it can't, you know, it can be that a lot of women will just sometimes wear a mask to sort of in a, in a effort at protection. It could have been protection. That's mm -hmm. a good, yeah. So I just wouldn't, you know, whatever, she's not interested next, you know, I just wouldn't even give it too much thought. Um, and definitely not take it personally because she doesn't do you, even know you. Do you think that if, I mean, it's, it was my first time to go and she, there's a chance that she might be a regular. Uh, do you think if she, if she approaches in the future, that that's, if I see this person again and actually get to talk to them, that that would be more, perhaps more telling in the future or. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying cross her out forever. Yeah. You know, right. If you see right. her again, you said you were attracted to her, right? You had the chemistry. Um, there was a physical attraction, but also okay. I was watching her behavior and I was intrigued because I, she's, I could see her depth. And, and when a woman, a woman reveals her depth and her intelligence, that's, that's a real turn on to me. Right. Okay. This woman, and she was laughing and having fun and talking to people. And, and, but then she looked at me and she looked like she wanted to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, don't take it personally that, that maybe she was nervous, you know, it really could be anything. I, um, I looked at her and I said, wow, okay, she's my type. She's, she, I could think we'd look cute together, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. And there was something about her essence, her aura. It was just very intriguing. I don't know if she's like a, an actress or if she's like a, does some sort of work in the, in the in the social sector like but there was something about her depth and her intelligence and her her personality that was very attractive and so it wasn't just physical. okay it well good for you go back there definitely recommend going back there and okay. you know see how it pans out see if you can't get a smile see if you can't um you know make some kind of connection maybe just as in a friendly way you know but I mean, I hesitate on that a little bit with you because you get friend zoned. 
So right, exactly. You and, know? Last, and the first woman, the 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 first person that was there, I was in, ended up sitting next to her because there was no other seats at the bar, and she was not only was she not only was she completely like wasted, but she did not speak English, so. Every word she spoke to me was in Spanish, and I I didn't I don't speak Spanish. I could not understand it. I tried so hard to communicate, but I was like, "This is like, this is not, funny." I had to step. It was hilarious. I had to step away because she was, everything was in Spanish, and every time I would say something in English, she would respond in Spanish, and I I was like, "This is not going to go well." Right. And even the bartender had to cut her off apparently, but. Oh, okay. Interesting. But, uh, but anyway, that's that's my update from last. Okay. Okay. Good. Blood. I'm glad oh, you're 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 getting out there trying new stuff, and this this sounds intriguing. Maybe for next week, you know, I'm excited to hear yeah, what that. I, I appreciate that. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for letting me share and for the uh, of feedback on how to handle when someone doesn't smile. I'm just I was yeah. Curious. Don't take it personally. It's not on you. It's probably some sort of processing on their end. I'm yeah, guessing. who knows, you know? Any Maybe they of... see ghosts. Maybe they see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. All right, I'll pass. Thank you, okay. Chloe. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Susan. Hi, Chloe. Good to <clears throat> hear you. It's been a minute. Yeah. Well, things haven't, there hasn't been anything going on. So um, I kind of got burnt out on the apps, just yeah. kind of like waiting and being disappointed. So I just stopped that, which I think is fine. For, yes, for absolutely. I mean, that's what everybody is coming and saying. There's actually a really big oh. backlash on the apps right now in general. Oh. Huh. They're struggling. So anyway, meanwhile, I changed, I was, uh, not happy in the job I was in. I remember. Okay. Yeah. So I quit. Good. Oh my God. Yeah. I feel so much better. It's <laughs> like, I don't wake up with a headache going, why do I have a headache? After right. Sleeping, you know, you were in a very tough situation. Oh my gosh. And plus so you're like really isolated. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so really it was the right fit. looking back. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was awful. Um, so I just feel like I'm in a better place. I'm for now I'm substitute teaching. Okay. And so less hours, different kind of stress, but it doesn't, it's like, I don't take it home and right. I have more time. I have more time right. to buy. You're around and, people. Yeah. I'm around people. Exactly. So I'm taking a chess class. I started that a couple months ago. I love that because you know what? There's some really, I'm really glad you brought that up. There's some I'm really, really enjoying it. cool yeah. chess clubs in LA. Um, oh, mostly guys. They're... Yeah. So that might well, be. Well, there's good... not any in where I live in Canoe Valley. So okay. that's disappointing. Um. But still, you could, you, you know, yeah. I, it's a Maybe good I'll... way to meet guys. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, or could be. I mean, most yeah, male dominated. Sport. I wouldn't play it if I wasn't just, you know, right. You like it anyway. Interested, right? right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So, good. Well, that kind of actually that is, and I'm also taking an art class. Uh, I figured I'd start with sketching just because I like color and stuff. So it's really hard, but I way more enjoy chess good and um <clears throat> so i'm taking this class and very small and um i started so that we could practice outside the, ch the class is only an hour long so, so we could play outside i started a group that we were playing at we play like at starbucks and stuff like that nice but i can only get two people interested which is okay i figure well it's a start yeah but, start somewhere um, exactly and they love it that i organize it and stuff and so that kind of brings me there's two men and they both happen to be in chess um they both what so, well they both i met them through playing chess oh, one okay. is in the class the other right. one is through a friend 
because I was looking because we have three people and I was like, oh, we really need four so that the extra person isn't, isn't just waiting. Right. So I had this friend uh, tell me about this guy. She knew that a lot. She like said, anyway, so guy number one, I've been playing for a couple, probably two and a half months, this class. And so this guy, very quiet at first, but then through playing him, oh, he's really nice, you know, and he's just, but I don't know his situation. He doesn't talk anything about his personal stuff. He's just, he's just kind of silent. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, um, but he's kind of slowly, seems like he's breaking out of it, you know, right. and he's, he's sort of, he'll like, something will happen. He'll lightly touch my arm or put his hand. He's like, oh, you go ahead puts his hand in my my back just briefly but i'm like okay i think he likes me <laughs> right so things are moving so slowly though it's the mm -hmm. nails pace and i was getting ready to ask him hey are you single you know <laughs> because he doesn't want to ring he doesn't say anything so i figured i was just gonna have to be direct uh-huh well but then something happened um okay. this other guy the new guy who uh is through a friend uh -huh. came and the first time he came he was so good he it was like oh my god <laughs> not a match and it turns out this guy's played for 10 years he does right. tournament play not a <laughs> yeah well, right. that's not us and he seemed kind of he left kind of abruptly and, and at first i thought oh nice guy I was still in line to get tea and chatted it up i thought oh he's not bad looking i'm thinking maybe but then we, I didn't think we were going to see him again after that. Well, he did come back last weekend. He mm -hmm. said, I just, out of the blue, I got a text message. Hey, can I, you know, are you still meeting? And he came and he was much nicer. He was patient with us instead of acting uh, irritated. Right. Like he was before. And he's like, hey, you want to go get a bite to eat afterwards? T totally threw me off. But I couldn't think of a reason not to, except the guy Kevin was there. And I thought, oops, I shouldn't have said a name. Um, and I thought, oh, he's he's not going to like that. But I thought, oh, what the heck? You know, yeah. he hasn't responded to anything anyway. Like when I've right. asked him, hey, you want to go get something to eat? Or when I've said, or when you texted about something. So... I went with the, and I asked the other two people, I said, Hey, you want to come with us? And they didn't. And okay, so good. off we went. Guy was very nice, conversational. He's a little rough around the edges. Whereas the other guy is kind of more refined, a little more my taste. Mm -hmm. But this guy travels and he's like, I was telling him about mountain biking. He's like, Oh, I have an old mountain bike. We should do that. And I'm thinking, well, at least this guy wants to do stuff. Yeah, he wants to eat with you. He wants to go biking with you. Yeah, the other guy is so low or shy or I don't know what his thing is. But so I just figured, well, I went to the Well, class. this is a little bit more masculine energy, you know. Well, and, and that's what I like. I'm, I'm yeah. yin. Well, I guess I'm sort of both. But around men or right. dating, I'm yin. Right. And so that's why I've just been waiting and waiting for the shy guy. And this guy is like more my speed. Like, oh, good. good. He's taking the initiative. Yes. Yeah. Good. So, yeah. Except when I went to class the other night, the, the shy guy totally gave me the cold shoulder. Usually we walk out to the car together and chat or, you know, or we play a game together or this is nothing. Totally turned away from me, played with the other person. <laughs> So I'm like, what, what was that? Is, is he over 50? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know how it is. I mean, when men get older, they have hormone drops and their testosterone oh. drops off. And so they become more feminine and women tend Maybe to that's it. become more yeah. masculine. And if you don't put conscious effort into it, you're going to slide into the feminine. You know, that's why you have these... Oh, that's why he had like hurt feelings, like a girl. Would exactly. Because he's on estrogen <laughs> I was like, now. What? I've never seen a man do that. Right. But he's older. 
Yeah. And actually, it's something that it points it's to something in the 60s. Yeah. Right. Oh, even a bigger problem is one of the dangers people don't think about, but one of the dangers of um, dating for him, if he were to date somebody much younger, any man dating somebody much younger is, is there, he may be more on estrogen than she is. And so if he gets his heart broken, um, there's a syndrome called cardi Takasubo cardiomyopathy, and you can literally die of a broken heart. And older men who get dumped really have to have to be concerned about that. But anyways, on with your story. Yeah. So he did drop a hint the other night when he said when he said he was married forty three years. Who was no, the, he didn't the say quiet was guy or the, or the 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 shy the, guy? The shy guy said he had been he had married, married 43 years but he made it sound like it was the past tense yeah past so he's not married now not to okay. that person anyway okay okay so now we know a little so, more you're not beholden to him you don't feel guilty it doesn't no. matter that you went out with the other guy he snoozed he loosed, you know he he lost yeah. out and it's I think not so. the worst thing for him to be motivated by somebody else asking you out, you know? Well, see, that's what I was sort of more hopeful that he would he would at least treat me the same, still be nice to me. Right. But some more. Maybe he'll too... try a little harder. Right. And so that's it totally right. threw me that he was like a lot of times yeah. that doesn't work. Like, um, I know you didn't consciously try to make him jealous, but oh, I don't yeah. recommend doing that not that you did that but if no, it had been at play, all. i don't recommend just doing using people to make other people jealous it first of all doesn't work and it's sort of dishonest. Yeah. but I what you did that. was totally yeah. fine the guy asked you out you're excited you can still talk to this other guy you're not in a relationship you remember i want you to get three people ideally three people you're flirting with yeah so you got one more to go, but I love that you um, have taken like made changes in your life and taken steps to make yourself um, more fulfilled at work and happier, Yes, you know, on your yeah. more yin activities, which is great. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah. No, like you're doing art. good. The chess is like yang. Yeah. Yeah. It is yang uh, in a way, but. Yeah. since you're doing it for fun it's also yin you know i mean well you know, yeah that's the paradox of yin and yang right right if you're not doing tournaments i don't aspire right. to that, exactly so. exactly yeah. i mean it's a mental activity but you're doing it for yeah. fun so right if, if, yeah it's more yeah, i thought about starting a meetup or something for that too since yeah. there doesn't seem to be anything else around here there's yeah. got to be more people interested that play I'm that sure would be there the are. beginner, and intermediate yeah. level. Absolutely. I think it's a really yeah. good area to explore. Yeah. For all you single ladies, really, because it's a male-dominated sport or activity. So, okay, good. Well, I look, don't yeah. feel guilty, flirt away, and I look forward to hearing <laughs> your update. Oh, okay, great. Thanks, Chloe. Thanks, Susan. I'm glad mm -hmm. you're here. Things are going well. Okay. Um, you guys, does anybody else have a question? You can ask also about um, anything you've heard so far that I've said, uh, even a general question um, or anybody else's work that we have done so far. Um, and, you know, ultimately, sometimes people come in and they, they're, well, I don't know if I want to be in a relationship. You know, every relationship is ultimately about the relationship that you have with self. So even if you're not dating, this work can still help you. Um, when I found it, I was already married. So it wasn't like I was single, um, but it still held my relation, all my relationships. Um, okay. Yes, Lee. Hey, I just want, I remembered something I wanted to share with you real quick. Yes. That's ha happened this week. Um, I have a friend of mine in England uh, that I connected with on a social site. Uh, and she knows my 
sensitivity, my my the struggles I've had. Uh, and she recommended a um it's gonna be here, it's here in LA, something called <laughs> I, I tantric tantric uh speed dating. Hmm. And it, and at first I thought, oh no, not another speed dating thing. Mm -hmm. But but um I looked at it and it looks I got to admit, it looks kind of interesting. They do this, they host it all over the world. And my this friend of mine went there and really enjoyed it and said, it's not what you think. And I don't know if you've heard of this at all, but it's- I haven't. It's you, you, it's a three hour event and you, you, you go to this thing. It's the thing is it's going to be in Venice beach in, in, in April. And they got one in Echo Park and all over New York, it's in all over the place. Anyway, you go and you you don't just, you know, three minutes and next person, three minutes you talk to the next person. You actually physically engage with the person through some exercise. You do like yoga type leaning exercises where there's there's physical contact. But you don't talk? You do talk, you do oh. talk, but there's more physical contact and you move in a circle huh. and you and the the females put a some sort of a, I don't know if it's a key or some sort of a token. They put it in, in a pouch. The guy that they want to talk to, they put it in their pouch. And apparently they guarantee you like a 94% mat. I mean, this is, if people are spiritual and they're into like meditation and yoga, this might be something they might huh. love. I'm going to check it out. I okay. Think it's, yeah. I think it's, check it out and let us know how it goes. I mean, I heard of this but, event that was done in New York that was no talking and hmm. just eye contact. Um, oh. And I thought that looked kind of interesting, but this sounds, this sounds interesting. You intriguing. know what, they, they do some of that. You're talking about the gaze where you gaze into each other's eyes without talking. Yeah, yeah. They do that. They will, okay. that is part of this, okay. but it's not the only part of it. It's a, okay. cause you're there for three or four hours. And so there's, you know, I think there's like 20 to 40 people and there is like a, there is, they do some of that. Yes, they do. I remember reading about it. Um, I thought I'd bring it up and share it. Okay. And if you've heard of it. If other people here are interested, it's, it exists. I thought I'd, I don't make any money off of it, <laughs> but I just thought right. I'd say if, it, if it's going to be in LA and on April 13th. Somebody's and, asking in the chat if you, if, to put this Yes. How, how about I type it in real quick? Yeah, type it in. I'll be happy to do that. And I'm intrigued. I think it costs eighty dollars for the day or something. It's it's not too bad. It's, it's you know, yeah, they have to pay for it, but they do right. Uh, Sounds it's interesting. Tantri, on tantri com. I'll type it in uh, to the, uh, the the thing and let me know what you guys think. I'll I'll report back with my findings. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, you know, I like these, you know, as I've said before, I, I like these in-person events much more than dating apps. So, okay, here I'm getting this. Oh, okay. Lee put the link in if you guys want to check it out. Okay. Zoom user. A guy was smiling me at the gym for a few months, always came to work out next to me. It wouldn't talk. I finally asked him if he's single. He said, well, I'm getting married, but I'm not sure. My name is, what's your name? What's your take on this situation? Okay. Um, so in general, he who speaks first is masculine. Um, although there is an exception for questions, but usually that's questions of needing help. Um, okay. Oops. Here, do you want to unmute and talk more or you want me to just address what you wrote? If you don't unmute, then I'll, I'll take it that way. Okay. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So that situation happened before I spoke to you last week, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I know it's, it's more masculine to... To right to right to, act, to talk first yeah um you know a lot of times especially men who are about to get married um they will sort of do like a mad dash and they'll suss out who like just 
okay, what am I missing out on? Who's the, who are the single ladies around here? Right. Um, you know, so it sounds to me just from what you wrote that he obviously is interested in you enough to always, you know, seek you out and sit next to you. Um, but if he, you know, if he asks you out and you want to go and explore it, then go. But otherwise, I would put it out of your mind. You yeah, know? I only asked him because it was happening for a couple of months. So I said, I have to put end to this. And I, right. I have to know. That. Right, 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 right. Um, yeah. And it's OK. It's not the end of the world. Um, was what did he what was did he seem interested when you when you broached that subject or what? Uh, well, we spoke a little bit, and then I just walked away. I told him good luck, okay. and I saw him next time again. So he was, he was like he was nice and smiling, but not that's right. it. I mean, if you really wanted to explore it further, you could ask him for help, like with the weights or with some kind of training question. Um, you know, well, not now. I that I know it. He's getting married. I wouldn't. You know, right talk to him. exactly it's something of a yellow flag that he's already telling you he's getting married and right. sometimes men will do that and still pursue you um if you're willing to go along with it then they are too you know um, i don't think i would like to put myself in a situation like that yeah it doesn't sound like an ideal setup right have you been doing your flirting well i tried once Again at the gym, mm -hmm. and I noticed that someone is is glancing at me. So I said it's time to to practice, but I was only able to do three seconds, and I I couldn't smile because I was <laughs> afraid. So maybe you looked like the girl Lee was talking about. <laughs> probably, yeah, probably. Um. Okay. So yeah. It takes a minute. It's it's kind of un it can be kind of uncomfortable, you know. But um I, I can smile at yeah, I can smile at women and guys that I don't like, but the guys right. that I see. But that's a good thing. It's a good exercise for you and it will help you, you know, keep trying. It right. will it will definitely help you. It will increase your vulnerability, it will help you be more open. It will, um, you know, you're as it's a simple thing, right? Five seconds of eye contact and smile. It sounds like, oh, super easy, but you're, you're having a challenge with it. You're having a catharsis as you try to do it, which means you're having a spiritual psychological, um, ex experience. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. So, um, it's good for you to hang in there and keep trying. Right, because guys seem so serious and they don't smile much. So if right. someone smiles at me first, I don't have a problem smiling back at them. Well, That's... if you don't talk first, but it's okay to smile first, you know. Right, right. If you've been in this, I think you're pretty new to this group, but if you've been, after you've been in this group a while or if you listen to the podcast or something, you'll see, I mean, a lot of men nowadays are nervous about approaching women and they don't want to seem creepy and you know they don't want to be part of the me too movement and so it makes it you know a lot of the advice that their fathers told them doesn't turn out to be true now you know that things have changed a lot and so it it sort of puts men on a back foot so giving them that eye contact and smile is giving them that permission to come and approach you and talk to you. So you want to participate in that, you know? Yeah. Smiling is the most difficult part, but I have to keep practicing. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you so you much. For you are feedback. so welcome. Thank you for sharing. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Does anybody else have any more questions about anything we've talked about? Um, I'm going to put my credentials in the chat again. You can, sometimes people reach out to me during the week. Um, if I can answer something, I will. If not, we'll bring it to Meetup or we can set up a private. You can also sign up for one of the module packages where we go deeper into this work, get to ego states and just different psychological tools that help. Um, I've really picked 
cherry pick like the best things, the most useful tools um, for these modules. And um, I teach a lot of what's in my books. The first book, How to Live, Find, Love, and Keep It, is all the basics of this work. So if you're interested in that, check that out. I also do original content every day on TikTok and Instagram. So you can check that out. Um, if there's no more questions, I'll wrap it up and you can, um, and you can, you know, come find this recording either on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast. I'm not understanding this question. Can I respond to her? Elsa. Do you have a question, Nelson? Oh, another question. Hello, <clears throat> can you hear Hi. me? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me respond to her. Yeah, she's um, <clears throat> actually she's she's correct because a lot of guys, um, they don't want to be the the reason why they don't we don't approach women, especially out in like in a gym or in bars because we don't want. I mean, I mean, um. Yeah, we don't want to be labeled creepy right. or something like that. I mean, you know, that's that, that's sort of the reason why. But but see, women, we 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 don't know if they want to be approached or not. They don't they don't they don't they don't give that sign. I mean, I mean, every time I go to a bar, I see, especially when I see a group of women. I mean, when I see a group of women, they're together. That means they're close. They cannot be approached. That's, that's exactly. I'm so that glad you're bringing that it. up. Yeah. And. In 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 uh, in in nightclubs, especially in nightclubs, I see like the dudes. I see guys standing around on the side, and they don't want to. They don't want to approach women, and the women are are dancing with by the with themselves with, with each other, right? With, with no guys around. I mean, I mean, I I don't know. I mean, that's, yeah, that's kind it's of much difficult. easier. I always tell women to go alone. You know, if you want to meet someone, yeah. go. You can go with your friends, but then split up. Because exactly. men don't like to approach a group of women. Exactly, I see that. I see that all the time in bars, in nightclubs. I mean, yeah. I mean that's the reason why you guys. I mean, the women. I mean, you know, they say, "Oh, nobody will approach you because it, it, it's." No, you got to give them the signal, like I said. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's nobody. Okay, because good. we don't want to be. I, I do. I, I, you know, for me, I don't want to approach a woman and and she she she, she labels me. Oh, you're creepy, or you're, you're, you're stalker. You, I don't want to be labeled like that. Exactly. And, and that's that's for me. That's that's so embarrassing, especially if, if in in the public like that. No, mm -hmm. I'm in the public setting. So so, it's it, it's it's kind of difficult. I mean, you know, you right. You guys, that's you why you gotta go signal. out, put out that that smile. That's right. Give yeah. the signal or do the hair thing. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean exactly. <laughs> right. The hair thing. D, how are you doing? Do you have a question for me? On your situation, are you single? Are you in a relationship, Nelson? Oh, maybe we lost him. I just was wondering if you had a question about your situation. Oh no, I don't. That was no. that was okay. Much, you just wanted to much. echo what I said. Okay. okay. Yeah, Thank that you. was. Thank you. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. Um, and it's always good. I like doing these co-ed groups. Um, I used to do a lot of women's groups and now I have a lot of men in groups and it's great because we do get to hear um, both sides. Okay. Okay. Well, if you guys, any more questions, comments? Okay. Well, the, I'll either see you back here next week or you can check in with me um, during the week and um, have a good one. I look forward to your updates. <laughs>